Hail and well met, Keeper of the Curio Shop. I am Kristoff. Well, well, well. What have we here? Thy shop displays items of great import. We would examine thy wares. Very well, then. Sumner Montague at your service. A pleasure serving you, Kristoff. Good day. Do come back when you have more trinkets. Or more cash. Hello? Good day. Thumbs up. Ah. Blood's a bit diluted here, eh? What, you fresh out of the grave? Newly embraced? You look it, with that deer in the headlights look pasted on your gob. Do not presume to mock me, whelp. I am far older than thou knowest, and have no patience for the likes of thee. Well, well, well. Oi! Barkeep! Get this antique blood sucker a swig of vitae, courtesy of Pink of Clan Brugia. Don't water it down, you mortal worm. This'll put some color back in your cheeks. Air of the bat that bit you. <laughs> thou art Brugia? Art thou a Promethean? <laughs> you must be a fossil! The Prometheans are ancient history. Those nutters are long dead, along with their utopian ideals. <laughs> what a load of bat shit that was! What's your name, you crusty old relic? Forgive me, I am Christoph Romuald. Oh, Christoph Romuald. Christoph Romuald, once of the Order of the Sword Brethren, once a Promethean Brugia, and now... Now I know not. D 
damned I can't help. But no one is alone with old Pink around. Especially not a fella Bruja. But here's to Christoph, the last of the Prometheans. Welcome to the new world, Squire. Hope you like what we've done with the place. So, where will you be creating your Promethean paradise on Earth, Squire? All I wanted was to be with my Nesca. <laughs> a bit of crumpet, eh? I've heard of worse paradises, no mistake. But Fera Nesco was taken as ghoul by that Zemitsi monster Vukutlak. After such horrors as I have endured, after losing so much, I awake to find I have finally lost all. For I have lost her. Yeah, not so fast, Squire. There's two ways your bird might be around. Ghouls can live as long as us legs. Of course, you need a constant supply of some meat seed blood, or she'll fall apart faster than Thatcher's reforms. And if one of them fiends embraced her, she'd be around today as one of us. Well, as a Zumitsi. Thou dost compound my misery. I dare not hope such a thing. T'would be a curse if Farinesca lived in such a state for a thousand years. Take it from old Pink. Anything's better than the quiet of the grave. There's hope even for us licks. We can climb the path to the summit, or, or some such. Thou art on the road of Humanitas? Um, something like that. Thou speakest true. Should Ineska have been preserved for lo these many centuries, I shall seek after her. Whether she is ghoul to that monster, Vukudlak, or one of his vampires, I shall find her. Find her and destroy him. He will pay in angry blood. And if I find only her grave, I shall... I shall be exceedingly glad for her soul. Rare thing, such passion in licks. Bloodless pack of cowards these days. Tell you what, I'll help you find this bird, Aneska. I hate the Zumitsis too. I could enjoy sinking me fangs into a fiend or two. My Lord Pink, thou art honorable. I accept thy kindly offer. You need me to tell you what's what. The camera really have a million little rules. Wipe yourself with the wrong hand, and these licks will call down the Justicars on you. What? Nothing. Just a joke. Thou art unlike the vampires of my world, for most only assisted me for their personal gain. <laughs> well, what's left of us, Bruja, gotta stick together. Even if you are a moldy old fossil. So, where did you last see this bird of yours? I last beheld Anezka before the collapse of the Zemitsi stronghold in Prague. I have since learned that the Zemitsi have traveled from thence to London, and by sea to a land west of London called New York. Perhaps this New York lies within Ireland. <laughs> no, ever since the famine, Ireland lies within New York! <laughs> there are isles west of Ireland? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Little place called America. The United States thereof. United States, an auspicious name, for I wish my own state reunited. Oh, you're breaking my heart. Perhaps in New York shall we find a criminal named Giovanni. Giovanni? They ain't one guy. They're a whole clan. A whole clan of criminals. They snacked on old Cappadocius and sucked down all his juice. The entire Cappadocian clan is gone. And the Giovanni have their power. Hmm. I'm not surprised. The Cappadocian clan seemed oddly gullible and ripe for domination by schemers even in my day. What became of the Bruja? <laughs> what hasn't? The Bruja are all kissed and made up with the Ventru now. In one big happy family called the Camarilla. The Toriador, the Gangrel, the Nosferatu, the Looney Malkavians, even the Tremere are bosom buddies. Out of fear of Gehenna, mostly. Our real enemy is the Sabbat, made up of the Sumitsi, the Vasambra, and a pack of the most vicious licks in the world. I don't care for the snobs of the Camarilla any more than the next lick. 
but I don't want to dig my way out of a bloody grave. That's what the Sabbat do to you. Beat you to the brink of death, then bury you. When you start starving, you claw your way to the surface, the madness killing any bit of humanity in you. So I work with the Camarilla against the Sabbat. My past is dead, and I am no longer a pawn servicing the whims of the elders in their jihad. It ain't good to be alone out there. It helps to have a gang at your back. Especially if you want to find this Ineska. I can't help you find the Giovanni, but I can help you find out about any bootleg shipping. The filthy Setites run all the bootleg shipping in London. I know a Setite knocking shop on the East End. Now let's put the boot into some snakes, but watch yourself. The Setites are a real bad sea. Knocking shop? <laughs> I know you had him in your day, Chris. Even a geezer like you can't be older than the world's oldest profession. <laughs> now come on, we're gonna need some supplies. You can sell some of that old junk and get some real weapons. We require an armorer and an alchemist. Uh, something like that. All these horseless carriages and electric lights must be too much for your little medieval mind, eh, Chrissy? I have witnessed the perverse experiments of the Tremere, clay that walks like a man, and spirits of the dead. Lights and wagons have no power to enthrall me. Ah, shut up. Who asked you? You'll need me if you want to survive in this world. I should bring you up to date on the modern world, Christoph. Let's see. Against all odds, peddlers and money changers defeated the priests and the nobles, so now merchants rule the world. Peasants rule themselves by voting on who gets to be king in his court. And some people still believe the world was created in seven days, even though men have walked on the moon. The Lord completed the world in six days. And that means that faith has not died in these 800 years. Unfortunately, not. Oof, I'm 
damned thirsty. I could go for a lick stick. Lick stick? A mortal. Feeding, you stupid get. We shall not take the lives of those we feed upon. Oh, bugger off. What do you care about the juice bags anyway? As long as we have greater power, we have an obligation to keep them under our protection. You're a fat lot of fun, aren't you? It is important. Okay, okay. No killing when I feed Christ. need to get you some real weapons. Those ancient artifacts ain't gonna do shit against licks with guns. You need to sell some junk. I bet that necklace would fetch a tidy sum. Never. Oh, terribly sorry, your lordship. Just trying to save your blood-sucking hide is all. What? What do you want?
get lost. All right, let's head over to the underground. The Setite brothels over by the docks in an abandoned theater. Come on. I plan to rack up a few Setite skins before the night's over. What? What do you want? My burdens prevent further cumbrance. Get lost! What do you want? Get lost!
What? What do you want? Get lost! Brace that tender art of yours, Chris. These damn Settite snakes ghoul the working girls and boys and sell them to mortals and kindred alike. Kindred pay to feed on the poor harlots, and the Settites feed on the mortal customers. The juice bags leave tired, but they never suspect a thing. Cozy as you please. The mistress of the place is a Settite called Lucretia. She sells some of their ghoul slaves to the Sabbat in America and runs drugs and weapons through those cargo ships of yours. Maybe she's picking up some extra cash moving mud for the fiends.